I'm going to try to do this under two minutes. I tend to ramble. This is a Bernogi 100 watt rigid frame aluminum solar panel coming out of the box. Well, that's how it's packed. Pretty much no brainer. Looks great. There's no damage to the outside of the box. So I hopefully won't have to rely on that. No breaks, no scratches, no dents anywhere. And there's the connection. You can see the solder joints going to the individual cells and power cables are crimped. Nice job of crimping and soldering. Well, the cover just snaps into place very easily. But it also comes off pretty easily. I uh, didn't mention it a minute ago, but the cover was loose in the box. The red o-ring is in there. But what I'll probably do is put a bread tie right through here, or maybe a real skinny tie wrap. Easy enough to break, but that's not a big deal. There's a little information. And if you care to pause or read any of it, you're welcome to do so. And you may actually be able to read that barcode. And last but not least, just in case anyone's interested in the location of the holes, there's a little small hole there right in the middle and that's where the holes are and whoop, excuse me just in case anyone's interested in the other direction there you go well that's about it I'll follow up probably in a combined uh, anchor battery charger, a 535 model, and when I connect this panel up to it and show how they both work. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm going to mount this panel on top of the Coho XC and uh, heading to Key West from Western Georgia. All right, wish me luck. Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to follow my trip. Wounded Warriors, Lance Smith. 22 veterans die a day from suicide. I'm out.